Hi, this is Dr. Oten of This Spring Life and Health channel. So we're going to talk today about how to enjoy your life by improving your self-confidence. The first one that we're going to talk about is to positively affirm who you are. If you stand in front of the mirror and you see somebody there, you must be able to say very good things about this person. Granted, a lot of people may have told you how bad you are, how awful you may be because you did something bad to them, but that's not what you're gonna focus on. To have self-confidence, you gotta focus on the positives. So you look in, on, in the mirror first, acknowledge how beautiful you are. To improve your confidence, your self-confidence, you have to appreciate your looks. You don't wait for uh, social media posts of likes and dislikes to formulate who you are. Acknowledge how how nice you are, how unique you are. There's nobody like you on the planet, believe it or not. Your DNA, you are uniquely and fearfully and wonderfully made. Nobody is like you. And you must be able to tell yourself that. As a matter of fact, uh, saying those positive things about yourself uh, you hear them through your own ears and then let them sink into your heart. And once they sink in your heart, your whole being will begin to change. Your heart will begin to accept it. Your body will begin to accept it. And as your body accepts them, then you become those things. If you cannot uh, bring some positivity on your own identity, then of course you are going to be low. Now, if you are going for an interview, a job interview and you feel like you are on a shaky ground because uh, what they are looking for you probably have the degrees you have the experience and all that but you you look down on yourself and you think you can before that interview you got to stand up and tell yourself that I am this I am this lawyer that I want to be I am this person that I'm applying for. I can do this. Nobody is better than I am. Refer yourself to those things and say, you know what? I can do this. I can do this. I am able to do this. And if you say those things about yourself, you begin to internalize those words that are positive and you go out there more positive. So that is what you have to do. The second thing is that when you meet people and uh, you know you go you go for a wedding or a party or reception or whatever and you don't know anybody there people seem to have friends people seem to be talking and you know laughing and doing all things and you seem to be quiet you got to make the first step you got to take a move move out there shake you know greet somebody introduce yourself by introducing yourself it, it brings your confidence out in fact it projects confidence also because most people are shelled most people uh, are coiled inside so the first step to evidently showing confidence is to be out front you yourself beginning the conversation go to that interviewer and uh, you know come out boldly and say who you are uh, I'm this person hey my name is this and uh, you are nice to meet you making that first move first step um, not being cocky not not being like pompous not being like uh, anything like that you got to have you know high self-esteem by increasing your self-confidence practice what you have to say when you have to say stuff and it will give you also confidence so if you if you if you are going for an interview again i can use that as an example what are the answers you you, you think you are going to give practice them say them out, out loud and and, and and practice makes perfect so when you actually are there for the interview you become more positive more energetic when you're saying it it, it means uh, more it's, it's more authentic because you have rehearsed those things before. So self-affirmation, self-rehearsal, self-introduction, uh, uh, um, all are things that will improve on your confidence level. Appreciate and acknowledge your accomplishments. You would say, well, I haven't accomplished anything. Yes, you have. Yes, you have. You were born a little baby. And God knows how old you are now. That is a big accomplishment. A lot of people didn't make it to your age. Granted, you didn't take care of yourself and all that, but that should give you confidence that, hey, there's something good out there for me, for me to grow up to this age. There must be something good out there in me. So I'm confident. That is one. You may have gone to primary school, elementary school. That's the, the most education you have. 
that is fine you have to acknowledge that as because some people didn't get that because it is good it is all you got and you got to be confident about it and then if you you were a high school dropout it is not bad either a lot of high school dropouts come up and they are good people I mean, you know some business tycoons are, are, are high school dropouts so being a high school dropout doesn't it doesn't make you any less human than you are you are still the one that was fearfully and wonderfully made made in the image of god unique uniquely different from everyone and full of great potential some people all they get is high school graduation and a high school diploma and they do great things so don't belittle yourself when you are a college grad university grad bachelor's degree appreciate that achievement if you achieve those things i've already mentioned it means you can achieve more that is grounds for believing in yourself that if you did this thing then you can do this so you have confidence in yourself don't make life about what you couldn't make it about what you can or what you you have you have not attained yet it is about what you can do in the future because if it's about the past then the past is already gone it should be gone but we're talking about the future the here and the now as well as the tomorrow also do not compare yourself to somebody else S low self-esteem and loneliness and people who don't enjoy their lives they don't because they are constantly comparing themselves every one of us is different and that is why you should remember you are uniquely made it's different in dna different experiences you had a different mother you had a different father you had a different group of siblings you grew up with you have a, you had a different upbringing you cannot compare even siblings comparing your marriage to somebody else's marriage comparing the car you drive with other people's cars comparisons can make you miserable I and mean, we remember we want to live an enjoyable life and once you have that mindset when people have already gotten what they have you are not threatened or you are not angry you are not jealous because you know that if you wanted it you would get it and if you haven't gotten it is because you haven't made the attempt yet because you can do all things time and chance happens to us all your time has not come your chance has not come but as long as you have the belief that you can do it when the chance comes when the time comes you can take of, uh, advantage of it but if you look down on yourself because somebody else has already prospered if you look down on yourself because somebody else has already made it then you are actually closing the doors of opportunity and time that is yet to come for you the fact that somebody is called by a title shouldn't make you angry shouldn't make you um, inferior you want to do something you can do it just have faith in you believe it whatever you want to do and make the move and uh, don't be intimidated by people's titles and positions and all that having faith faith in god and faith in yourself that will also bring you a sense of enjoyment or fulfillment in life faith basically is a substance of a thing hoped for something you hope for you have not seen it what do you hope for in life do you have faith in yourself enough that you can achieve those things once the faith in yourself is there that i can do this that is the first step then the door is open for you to walk through it faith makes you see yourself at the end before you even begin it's the first step towards achieving anything in life and if you want to enjoy your life have faith in god have faith in yourself because he has gifted us all the potential for everything oh granted i may fail along the way granted it may take me longer than other people who are smarter than me it may take me six years to achieve a degree that takes other people three years but at the end it is still the degree so uh, your abilities in itself shouldn't stop you from doing what you want to do if you only can see yourself at the end the power of imagination imagine yourself already at the finishing line seeing yourself already as the attorney seeing yourself already as a teacher seeing yourself already as a plumber seeing yourself already as a building contractor seeing yourself already as a real estate agent seeing yourself already as whatever you want to do as a nurse whatever you want to do see yourself already wearing that gown seeing yourself already holding that tool the architect seeing yourself already drawing that is the first step 
and if you move to the next step which is taking the courses to do it challenges will come all right but they will not stop you because you have already believed in yourself enough that you could do it don't let anybody say that you cannot if anybody comes around you and all they say or all they tell you is you can do this you are not made for this this is for tough people all those people you should silence let them be quiet or close your ears when they are speaking because they are their sources of frustration in life they are the people who will keep you already at where you are what you, what you don't want to be where you don't want to be so don't listen to those people move a step ahead believe in god and believe in yourself because you can do all things don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already subscribed please you should share and i really do appreciate you as you watch